All right, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the new SSB transceiver, the Bidex Digitia. Digital, because of all this digital stuff, and TIA for termination in sensitive amplifiers, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm at the point where the receiver is working, and Farhan, the original designer of the Bidex, always, well, he advised in his original article that you should pause at this point and enjoy the receiver before proceeding to the transmit stages, and that's what I'm doing now. It's not really just a pause, it's also a pause in making sure that uh, everything is working right. I think I'm getting there. I have it set up on, um, on 40 meters at 7163. At this time of the morning, there's always a group that uh, gets together and uh, they try to work DX. It's uh, kind of led by uh, Jim, WB2REM, who I've been talking to for many years and on and off. And he is one of the designers of uh, one of the original boards that allowed for a connection between ham radio equipment and uh, internet voice over the internet. <laughs> Interesting guy down in Florida. Here, let me, let me turn on the audio amplifier. I'll show you how it tunes. I got the tuner running backwards, but it's easy to change. It's jumping in 100 hertz increments. Anyway, I was listening. They had a, they had an Australian station on before. It's always nice with a new receiver when you get a, a VK coming through. I'll uh, pause now and then I'll I'll move the camera so you could see the the innards. All right, here's the view from above. I'll give you the tour. This board here, of course, is the digital part. And there's an Arduino R Uno, Arduino Uno R3 down below. This is a proto board that Pete Giuliano gave to me. And this little thing here, which is as we keep saying, is the size of your thumb, is the SI 5351 uh, board from Adafruit. These are the two outputs, one for the the BFO frequency, one for the VFO frequency. We leave the the center clock output unused, and that minimizes uh, crosstalk or bleed over between the two. Then down here, this board here. Well, I'd say this board is the main board, and we have one, two, three termination insensitive amplifiers or TIA amps, developed by Wes Hayward and Bob Kopchi, and then. I'm using for mixers two SBL1 mixers. This one for the VFO, this one for the BFO product detector, and all that. This one you'll see here. This is the uh, 100 ohm pot. It goes between pins five and six. This is the innovation introduced by uh, Pete Giuliano and mentioned in experimental methods for RF design. This is the uh, nine megahertz. Uh, single sideband filter 
out of an old Yesu FT7 given to me a few years ago by Steve Snort Rosin Smith. Thank you very much, Steve. Over here, we just have a simple little audio amplifier. It's just a 2N3904 preamp and an LM386 chip. Pete put this together for me. As and I want to point out also these these boards here are what we're calling the mill pad boards. You'll see the little squares. Uh, Pete worked these up for me on his uh, CNC machine out his, at his Newberry Park, California laboratories. Um, I'll mention here also you'll see two toroidal transformers. These are for impedance matching between the uh, filter and the TIA amps. The TIA amps always present 50 ohms, but the uh, this filter requires a 500 ohm termination impedance at either end and so these are 10 to 1 impedance uh, transformers and that gets us a nice match and it, I checked the uh, the filter shape it looked okay over here we have the uh, the bandpass filter and I pulled this out the values out of an old QST article it seems to work pretty well. so the top amplifier is powered by the red line for receive so this one this one and this one and then when we go to transmit we apply power to the green line and it's this one, this one, this one and then off to what will eventually be the uh, RF amplifiers. I have the whole thing sitting on top of the wooden box that I'm going to use again for this one and uh, and that's about it. That's where we stand. Let me turn it on here for a few more minutes. We'll hear what, what they're saying. Talking about Aurora in Canada and North Dakota. Oh yeah, I want to point out the code in here that I'm using uh, is from Thomas, LA3PNA in Norway. And somebody else we've been talking to for, for a long time. Thomas is a young fellow, but uh, has been in the game for quite a few years now. And I remember he was the one who sent me uh, some of the, uh, the log amplifier chips that we used in the... Um, uh, in the in the W7ZOI RF voltmeter project that uh, Mike and I worked on a few years ago. Anyway, that's the tour. It's really fun because I love projects where bits and pieces from uh, from friends are included. There's a lot of Pete Giuliano input in terms of the the CNC boards and the ideas. Like I said, Thomas LA3PNA with the code. Um, Mark K6HX uh, came, provided a lot of ideas over the years on the use of the Arduino and the microcontrollers. Um, let's see, well, Steve Smith, LA, uh, Steve Smith uh, out in California with the 9 megahertz filter. Pete Giuliano's in innovation here with this little uh, pot. Uh, QST Magazine gave me the bandpass filters.